All right, this is going to be the big one. This is the one everybody's been talking about. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 34. We all knew this was going to be the main event. We all hoped that it wasn't going to be. I thought that they would maybe change their mind and put Finn Balor in this match, sort of showing what the future of WWE is going to be, um, since he never really has got that push since coming back from injury. Um, two years ago, um, besides for winning the championship um, at, 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 at SummerSlam before the injury. Um, this has got speculation written all over it. It looks a lot like WrestleMania 31. Um, people were rumoring that Brock Lesnar was going to leave WWE uh, to head back to UFC. Only at WrestleMania 31, the, the, at the last minute, I know it came out the day before I left to go to San, uh, San Francisco, Santa Clara, San Jose, whatever you want to call it, that Brock Lesnar was re-signing and he was going to stay in WWE um, and be a, a professional wrestler. Um, I, I know that that really surprised me at the time. Only last night, Dana White, who I believe was on some sort of uh, uh, fighting show, I don't even know what channel it was on, let the rumor split that uh, Brock Lesnar was going to be returning to UFC. Uh, there was no date. There was no time. The only thing that we can wonder is that basically it's going to be after um, his uh, suspension ends uh, that he is under in UFC. The only thing is that I don't think that Brock is under testing right now. Um, so I don't even think he is currently serving um, his one-year suspension. Um, during your suspension from UFC, you still have um, to be tested um, during USADA um, uh, for, you know, whenever their randomized drug tests pop up. And uh, Brock Lesnar was not part of the testing pool. Um, you know, cannot live out his suspension until that, that thing comes up. They made so many special rules for him uh, coming into UFC, um, delaying his drug testing, and he still... Um, failed two drug tests, um, setting up that UFC 200 fight against Mark Hunt. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's just they, they're just going to come out and tell us Roman Reigns is going to win this match. Um, the only thing that you can wonder is maybe if um, you know. I, I heard this on the Dan Levitard show from uh, producer Mike Ryan, and I honestly thought it was genius. Um, basically, Dana White came out and said that. Maybe because Vince McMahon asked him to. You go back to uh, WrestleMania 20. Um, basically, they had the match Brock Lesnar versus UFC, which WWE thought was going to be a big match. Um, people were going to like it because it was two big guys, two big stars, um, former champions that were just going to go in there and beat the hell out of each other. Uh, and when the bell rang, everybody booed it like crazy. Um, basically, knowing that Brock was leaving, knowing that Goldberg was leaving, um, the fans turned on this before they even had a chance to see it. Um, Goldberg just came out and said that basically the match isn't as bad as they did. But a lot of people think that when the fans turned on the match, the fan, the wrestlers just gave up. They didn't know what they could do to save it, so they just didn't really do a whole lot once they were in there. Um, I, I don't know what to think about this match. I know that Brock has had matches basically where he just went in there and just said, let's get this over with, a lot like the... Dean Ambrose, WrestleMania 32 match where he didn't really want to do much. And Ambrose has said that Brock didn't really give him much to work with. And that's why that match um, was a stinker. Um, WWE could always throw a surprise in, maybe adding somebody into the match. Um, it'd be hard at this point. I mean, there's no Seth Rollins with the Money in the Bank briefcase. There's nobody to able to just sort of run in and, and, and add themselves. They, had, they would have to create some sort of a storyline or maybe just... Everyone in WWE turns on him, or maybe you could have like all the people the past year that have had title shots against him: um, Samoa Joe, Braun Strowman, um, uh, just sort of you know just attack Brock and just sort of throw him out of WWE the way that they wish they could have. Maybe, maybe I, I don't know, but um, Roman's gonna get the win. I mean, that's basically all they can do. They, they've told us everything that Brock is leaving. The only thing that you could sort of set up is that, um, basically, I don't even think I finished what I was talking about with that whole uh, WrestleMania 20 thing, but, but basically, the reason why they're going to turn on Brock is because Brock is leaving, 
And basically, if the people brew Brock, they'll have to cheer Roman, and it's the one way that Roman can get cheered. That was the thing that Mike Bryan was talking about. But um, I, I don't really even know what to say. I mean, I, I thought that Roman was going to beat Brock at WrestleMania for over a year. Um, so we're just going to have to let this play out. It'll probably be the one thing at WrestleMania um, that people will remember and that people will hope that uh, it's not the biggest moment of the night. I think for that, we're going to have to see what goes down with Cena and Taker. Obviously, something's going to happen, but that's probably going to be the moment that everybody takes away from WrestleMania as being the biggest thing from WrestleMania.